Hi, it's Kathleen, and we've got a bit of an unbagging on our hands today. I recently received this little bag full of delicious vintage graphic tees from Knickknack Vintage. So let's just rip around open and see what kind of sweet morsels it holds. Let's go. Hey, what? You never seen someone with wet hair before? Deal with it. I'm coming at you with the three T's. Got my bag OTs. I'm wearing my favorite vintage graphic tee. And I've got a mug full of piping hot, you guessed it, tea. Why am I holding it like this? Ooh. This was actually a really cool sale model. So basically I just paid for the size of bag that I wanted. So I got the large bag and then I got to just stuff as many t-shirts into it as I could fit or I guess he fit them in but I told him which ones I wanted anyways this bag I think was 50 bucks and I have four or five amazing t-shirts in here and a crew neck so that is a steal we're all on the same page about that right we have a visitor Kashi do you love do you love do you love vintage graphic tees you guys ready for some Kathleen lore a little bit of tea spilled about myself well, when I was getting started as a designer out in the real world, I worked as a graphic t-shirt designer for a large mall brand that was popular in the early 2000s, although it's having a renaissance at the moment. Anyways, I did a lot of research about graphic t-shirts for work and became a little bit obsessed. I would say that I developed a sommelier level palette for a good vintage graphic tee, like a fine wine gets better with age. Okay, enough jibber jabber, let's get into it. I think this is my favorite tee of the bunch. This 96 Atlanta Olympics tee has the color scheme of dreams. The hues of the flame are so fun and they feel kind of trendy for 2022, what do you think? I also dig how chomped up this collar is. The fabric is nice and thin and worn in and it is just a gem. Continuing on the Olympics train, we've got the Special Olympics in Wisconsin tee featuring cool frog friends. It not only features our amphibian amigos, but it also has some fun lettering. This is just such a silly fun shirt and you can't go wrong with a good frog and this tee has four of them. On to our next tee, we've got our quintessential spring tulip top. It's cute and cozy with a mock neck and it feels like something I would have worn as a child. I paired it with this gardeny, summery dress, but it would also be super sweet under some overalls. I just stepped in dog poop. Okay, aside from the Atlanta Olympics tee, this is my favorite. Behold, Butterfest 92. Apparently there was or is a festival in Wisconsin called Butterfest, and in 92, it featured a cow-centric hip hop group as the mascots. Sorry. Okay, for our last vintage piece, I got this amazing all over buck print crew neck. It even has a little raglan neckline. So I got this for Gus because he is a nature boy. So let's go see if he'll try it on for us. This is usually where you can find the wild Gus. Maybe if I kind of jingle this around and do my special Gus call. Yodle hee hoo! There he is. It's okay, little guy. Here. Here you go. Oh, you son of a. Here, come back here! What a majestic creature. So since this video is all about vintage graphic tees, I also wanted to share some of my personal favorite tees from my own graphic tee collection. So let's do some superlatives, starting with the favorites. I've got two favorites. First, we have this falling water tee featuring one of Frank Lloyd Wright's most famous houses. Also, my sister found this at the Goodwill bins for like 25 cents and then she gave it to me. How generous. Thank you, Soph. My second favorite tee is this Tahoe Zone tank that I was rocking in the start of this video. The mountains mixed with vintage horror television, a rare and delicious combo. 
Now, speaking of horror, my favorite Halloween specific tea, yes, I have my own category for Halloween specific teas because I have multiple, is this Half Moon Bay Pumpkin Fest tea. All right, on to our next superlative, my funniest tea. It's gotta be this Sylvester the Cat Thinthinati Ohio t-shirt. I mean, it puts a smile on your face. Say it, say it right now, Thinthinati Ohio. That's the best. Our next superlative, my rarest tea. The quote unquote rarest, I guess. I'll give it to this vintage baseball tea that I found in a thrift shop in Tokyo. Apparently it says Hatsuratsu Baseball, which roughly translates to vivacious or lively, which is just so good, so good for me. I love a good baseball tea and to find one in Japan was just seriously bucket list material. All right, and to wrap up my t-shirt superlatives, we have our obligatory animal tea. Everyone's gotta have at least one animal tea in their collection and this lightning bear is um, terrifying in the best way. It even has lightning on the back and it's just perfectly oversized and so comfy. Thanks, lightning bear. I love you. Well, what did you think? I've got big standing energy today. You know why? Because my chair is covered in graphic t-shirts. And that's just how it's gonna stay. Anyways, I think the t-shirts I got are all bangers in my book, mostly because I picked them out myself. So of course I'm gonna like them, but let me know down in the comments if you had a favorite. Also, I love seeing other people's cool vintage graphic tees. So if you have a cool one, feel free to send it to me over on Instagram at Kathleen Illustrated, or if you just wanna say hi. For next week's video, I don't know y'all, I'm kind of in like a little bit of a silly goofy mood. So what do you think about some thrift flips? Or maybe we'll just hit the thrift store as usual. I don't know. Luckily, that's a future me problem. So make sure you subscribe if you'd like, and we can learn together what future me decides next week on Sunday. All right, that's it for me. So I'm just gonna say I love you and goodbye. I think I should stand for every video intro and outro. I feel powerful. Hey. <gasps>